C K Danger Song Crabs. first roll, right? This will be your first roll. You drove an uh, hour and a half, so now you've got your first roll out there. You're, you're on your first roll, right? Here we are. First roll. Four hard. Fortunately, you know about Crab's Gold. You know about that. Thank you. 
the gravy for me right there a triple on the quad under 10 <clears throat> that's that's my objective right there man that's my goal since four seven eight nine i guess that's 11 sorry four seven eight nine ten that's that's 11 now so that's that's my goal right there man two sixes uh four eights triple on the four Saturday, guys. Uh, Saturday transmission blast. Hopefully, if you're gonna be going this weekend, this will be some big motivation for you. That's why I put so many damn videos out. Come on now, act like you'll know it. for the, uh, the rest and uh, thanks a lot uh, can't remember has so many comments you know who you are though and I apologize I should write it down and I'm probably going to for the next videos and I'll you know, bring it up but you know, try to remember you know, I got a lot of things going on but uh, appreciate the holler uh, you said you noticed how the hands are uh, doing better appreciate that man appreciate that so I'm putting in work you know I'm putting in work here a lot of work <coughs> a lot of work you guys can see the mass my videos going up. I think we're close to 400, close to four. So originally, while I was going to do this video, I was going to shoot a craps gold and uh, find out where the seven was coming from, whatever. And then you know, roll uh, for the dough. But I don't think we're going to stretch it out, man. We just keep it. You know, what I mean, maybe do another time, man. I just you know, I like to keep these little short ditties going. <coughs> Three, one, oh. Oh. <laughs> well, we got four fours now. Four fours, four eights. Just telling you the score. 
just important to, um, at this point, my, you know, whatever, dice rolling, really paying attention to that kind of thing. Keep it. Damn it. That's why I say keep it. So I bet you know this doesn't really found my hand. numbers, but, you know, shit, you know, first roll of the day, well, 13, I mean, shit, not so shabby, eh, <clears throat> not so shabby, 13, uh, first roll, and then you got, uh, four eights, four fours, triple and a six, eight, not too bad, now, originally, what I was going to do is go to the craps gold now, because I know how the sevens want to come out, you know, and what I would do, since I'm using this dice set right here, since it 4-3, that was what I said I might need to make an adjustment because it finally came and got me. I 7 out the way I knew I would 7 out the dice. You see these dice right here, guys. See how I have it right here, like this here? See you can see that. Yeah, you can see that right there. What happened was, this guy right here happened. See him right there? You know, learning to read the dice is another thing. You know I mean, you know, it's not just adjusting them, but reading the dice. That's what we're doing right now is reading the dice before the adjustment. Reading the dice, guys. Okay? Because look here. This is what I was rolling. This is what I was using. Right here, I'll cut that back a little bit. That's another day right here, reading the dice. Okay, so, see, I was using a 6-deuce, 4-4 four, four right there, you know, which is the, uh, which is the V, you know, the, uh, 3-V set, uh, yeah, 3-V right there, you know, in the stack grip, that's what it is, and the, it doubled on me, so it doubled, and what it did was, boom, boom, came back like that, you know, they're gonna be, they're gonna be like that, see, that's what, the way they landed, so, the stack grip's a little bit, well, it's, it's, Actually, reading and adjusting for the stat grip is the hardest of all the grips that I've showed you guys, to be honest. You know, once you learn how to read the dice, what they're doing, because see, that's what's going to count. It's not, and I guess, you know, I guess we're starting to get down in the weeds a little bit more now, you know, and crap school and things like that. And adjusting the dice, it's not just uh, <clears throat> adjusting the dice. First, before you adjust the dice, you got to read the dice, and that's what we're doing right now. You know, we're reading the dice, meaning we're determining which way we're filling out the dice and looking at them, seeing which way the seven came. See, so we know we did a four three. So we're gonna just really figure on a high probability, a very high probability, probably ninety percent probability that this is what happened. You know, that boom boom and they were like this see somehow that's what happened in my opinion and my dice adjustments for craps gold on the stack grip are really solid just you know I don't want to stretch this out because you know when I do this normally my next roll is like you know low 20s or something like that I don't want to you know whatever <clears throat> I mean, you guys are right now man uh, whatever. I just want to keep this for you know learning purposes right now there's no need for me to prove anything and that's for you guys out there because this is important because this is the hardest way the hardest um the hardest uh throw to read you know this is the hardest throw to read in my opinion you know if you're throwing a dice premier grip whatever it's so easy you know the, the premier grip it's so easy to determine which way the seven's coming from you see what i mean uh, which way you know double pitch oh okay you know you know it comes back one or you know left one comes back one whatever you know, you want to know which dice is moving on you. You know, watch your dice. You got to watch your dice to have better reads. So I guess it's really three parts. You got to watch your dice because you want to make your adjustment, right? You got your adjustment over here, right? Here's your adjustment. It's like one, two, three. Here's your adjustment. And to get to your adjustment, you got to take three steps, see? That's your adjustment, the final, the finality. 
And you want to have a high probability that once you adjust your dice, that that's going to give you the money made. You can just not sit back and relax, but just throw the dice how you have been. And you can just, you know, rely on full confidence that, you know, this is, you know, 90% of what, what it should be, you know, from, if you go backwards reading the dice, where you got the final adjustment, then you got reading the dice. What was the last one I was saying there? It's finding, the first one is finding out which dice is moving on you, okay? That's, so you got to find out which dice is moving on you, you know, around on you. So watch your dice. Then you're going to read them. So you're going to watch which dice is moving first, okay? You're going to watch that dice. Then comes the read of the dice. Okay, this dice is moving. My left dice is moving. I sevened out which way? Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, four, three out. You know? Oh, okay. So, or my bottom dice is moving. So, you know, I can adjust like that. That's how I seven out. I can adjust... You know, and reading the dice, which way, you know, were the dice come? Was it coming this way? You know, were they? Was it coming this way? You see what I'm saying? I mean, not to get too technical about it, but once you can figure out this, what I'm showing you, because this is what I do. I mean, it 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 takes your winning probability up tremendously, tremendously. I mean, I'm just slowly like giving you, you know, little nooks and crannies of things I do that you know I don't notice that I do, but I do do. You know what I mean? I'm, and it's like they're coming to the surface, and I'm finally able to articulate them to you. I mean, I wish I could just go boom right now with everything, but you just can't. You know what I mean? Just time has to go on. Shit has to happen. Things get triggered, and it's like, hey, I can go on you know, film or video and show you this real quick. So first, you got to find out which dice which dice is moving, okay? And you know, some people might not agree with this, but. I don't put 100% on this one. I think it's okay to adjust either dice. Personally, I don't think the, uh, I don't go 100% full on this one, but it's important to know which dice is moving. You know, to get a better accurate reading and adjustment. You see how that works? So we need to find out which dice is moving on us first, guys. Which dice is moving around on us? Which one is double pitching? Then we read it. We read it, okay? So we know which one's moving. Now we read it. Oh, it's double pitching. This way, it's going, it's moving backwards too, or it's moving forwards too, or it's rolling out, you know, too. See, because you've determined, okay, it's a left die. It's a left die, so the left die is either rolling out one, two, three, whatever, or it's moving forward, you know, rolling out, meaning outwards, out towards the left, like that, or it's rolling forward, or it's moving backward. And that might be a lot to the new person. But once you start doing it things, it's really kind of simple. You, it just it becomes automatic, and you kind of really simplify it, okay? So it's really not that, you know what I mean? You don't have to be a mathematician or anything like that. You just got to watch your dice. That's why I said know your role, you know what I mean? And you're starting to see now what I mean about know your role. See, because you're going to watch your dice. You want to find out which dice is moving. Then you're going to read them. And when you read them, you're going to determine, was that a double pitch? You know, did my dice... You know, double pitch, you know, forward, you know, double. And that gave me a seven. So it's a left dice or, you know, did it, you know, did it come backwards? You know, did it go forward or did it come back? You know, because you sevened out at a four three. So it obviously isn't going to, that means that's going to eliminate the dice going outward like that, which would give you a six one seven out. You catching that? So you've already eliminated that. So you've read the dice. You know that, you know, your your dice, it's it's your left die. And so you know that it's either went forward to or back to. Which will give you the same. So if you go forward to, gives you a 4-3. You reset them back. If you go back to, it gives you the same setup. Okay. So that automatically lets you know. Since you didn't 6-1, that means your dice didn't open up. So that way is already out. You know that, you know, that's eliminated. So it's just down to did it move forward or back, and you know already that it's the left die that was moving. So now you need to determine, read, read the dice. Did it go forward, double, or back double? Once you've read that, oh, it went forward a double. Now it's time to make your third.
Now you make the adjustment, guys. That's when you can make your adjustment because you've got everything down. Uh, <clears throat> now you know what to do. Okay, so it uh, moved forward to. That's how I doubled. Okay, well, since it moved forward, and I double, why don't I go back one? Since the dice is moving forward, you see? And so that will give you a 3 5 5 4 set, like that. That's how I do it, guys. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. See? Dice move forward on you. You read the dice. You determine you read the dice. Or you. Shit. <laughs> it's so deep, man. I gotta go back and look at it. Because I said it right the first damn time. Okay? <clears throat> read, adjust. Uh, the first knife. Fuck, man. So deep. It's, it's deep rabbit hole shit. Same way. So you determined the first one, which dice. Is move which you know which dice is moving? That's a left die, okay? So eliminates this one. Let's move this over here. Step two: you read the dice, meaning you found out that the dice is rolling forward to. So since that's the case, now you can read the dice. Since you know it's a left dice that's moving on you, you have a consistent throw, consistent roll. You know your left die is moving on you. You know it's also your left die that's rolling forward to double pitching so you're getting a seven out that way so what you're going to do you're going to easily read the dice since it's rolling forward two you can go back one and since you have a consistent roll that should give you a nice set to make money that's how i do it guys hey i think i'm bsing we run that back we run that back that's a big deal right here this is a big deal big deal right here Big deal. So you guys know what we did. We did uh, four fours, three sixes, four eights, no fives, nines, or tens. Two sevens, one come out and one uh, out. You know, one between points and um, one uh, out. And uh, we threw a three. So one junk. A little 13. First roll, like I said, I was going to roll crap skull, but that'll put us clear into, you know, way longer territory. Don't want to do that to you. Appreciate your time. Feel like this is going pretty well. This is a good uh, lesson for Saturday, guys. Get this down right here. Get this one down. This is also going to help you with your consistency and your SRR. Okay? Your seven to rolls ratio. You know, because all that matters now is since you figured out which dice is moving, and you you read the dice, you know that your left die moves forward twice. You now adjusted your dice, and since it's moving forward twice, you're going to counter it by going back one like that since your dice you know rolling like that you just gotta work with it and trust me this is what i do <clears throat> and it's strong it's strong because all that matters now would be the fourth step is putting the money on the line with full confidence so your fourth step now would be putting your money on the line with full confidence that you're going to get your three and out or whatever you want there you see what i mean because now after this adjustment i'm only looking to make money I'm not looking for any deep rolls. And deep rolls will happen. But see, I'm looking to make money. That's my goal. You know, so I'm looking to be in there, you know, bang three or five and out. Whatever it might be. You know, and, you know I can hit a triple, you know, within five rolls. You already know that. I can come out with a triple. I mean, you, you guys already know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm not bragging. Just saying. You guys can do it too. You know what I mean? Remember what the lesson was about yesterday? The short rolls. Uh, remember the short roll sessions. You know, um. Uh, Easy Way left a huge comment. If you guys haven't checked the comments out, check out Easy Way's comment about um, what he does. He uses the uh, short, uh, short uh, rolls uh, or short intervals. You know, um, it's he knows, he knows. That's why I have him at the bottom of our uh, homepage. You know what I mean? Only, I've only we've only got the slickest people at the bottom of our homepage. We need to get Mador down there. We haven't got Mador yet, but you know what I mean? It's kind of like our. You know, when you look at our homepage, you know, we only have, you know, we feel like the best of the best up there. You know, some badass people up there. So, you know, some true money makers. So, just keep that in mind when you go to Dangerous Arm homepage. You scroll to the bottom. You see those uh, shooters down there. Those are real shooters, daddy. Appreciate your time, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, we blew through a thousand. We'll be back on the live stream. I've had a lot of things going on. We're, you know, uh, working on some things behind the scenes and all. You know, bring that out at some point, but right now is not the time. Uh, 
but we're working on things. You know, we're moving. We're not just sitting stagnant. Come on now, damn it. You know better than that. We're not going to sit stagnant, baby. Build that wall. Oh, yeah. But, hey, appreciate your time, guys. Remember the four, Remember the things right here, what we're talking about. Play it back. This is a good one. This is a good one because before now, I was unable to articulate. It just kind of happened. You know, kind of like with the live streams after I've been on there for six hours and all of a sudden, it's like, you know, a nut's been cracked and, you know, all the shit's coming out like it should, you know. I don't know why it happens like that. It just happens like that, guys. Hey, remember this roll. Thirteen rolls. First roll of the day. Muscle memory. Four and a six. Point on four and a six. Four fours. Four eights. Three sixes. Two four hards. Two hard fours. Two hard eights. C K Danish song craps. See you next time, guys. Bang them damn numbers out. Appreciate your time.